Yo, what's good, family? We got to talk about something that's got Wu-Tang Clan's Method Man here. Honestly, I see where he's coming from. Imagine putting your blood, sweat, and bars into a track only for someone to remix it without your permission and rack up 200 million views, all while you, the original creator, don't see a dime of it? Yeah, that's the situation with Method Man and his YouTube creator, DJ Scandalous. Method Man took to Instagram to air it out, calling this stuff fake collabs that's not only jacking his vocals, but disrespect the ground it took to make the original tracks. Before we jump into this video, let's talk holidays real quick. It's that time of year when the fam's coming together, and you know the turn up's gotta be real. This portable Bluetooth speaker by Pile is exactly what you need to set the vibe. It's got those booming rock vibes wherever you go, with Bluetooth streaming for all your devices, whether it's your iPhone, Android, or tablet. Plus, it's got a rechargeable battery so you don't have to worry about it dying mid-party. And check this, the built-in LED lights flash to the beat, making your night gatherings pop even more. From the wireless mic to the USB and aux options, this speaker is built for all your audio needs. Hop on that PAL 400 watt portable Bluetooth PA loudspeaker. Trust me, it's the ultimate holiday party essential. Link in the description. Let's get back into the video. Now let's break it down. DJ Scandalous, whose real name is Kevin Rivera, has been remixing Met The Man's vocals and splicing them up with other artists' beats and verses without permission. This dude's been riding the wave, hitting over 200 million views. But here's the problem. Not one penny is going back to the creators. Not only does it take away from the original content's views, but Method Man feels like it disrespects the craft. And you gotta ask yourself, is it cool to get love from remixes like that when the artists aren't eating off it? Method Man makes a real solid point when he says, look, whenever I sample someone's work, I gotta get permission first. So why should it be any different for these YouTube remixes? He's talking about the time, energy, and creativity that goes into producing something real. When someone like DJ Scandalous comes through and does half the work, then gets quadruple the views, it's like taking a shortcut at the expense of the artist. He even pointed out how sometimes his voice gets thrown on beats he would never rhyme on, and sometimes the verses are just off beat. That's not only sloppy, but it's disrespectful to the culture. Method Man asked DJ Scandalous to take the video down a long time ago, but dude still hasn't done it. Now, Scandalous claims he's not making any money off of it, so Meth hits back with the obvious. If you're not making any money off it, why not just take it down? And honestly, that's a real question. So now Meth's throwing it out there to you, the fans. Is he wrong for standing up for his work and calling out these fake remixes, or should he just let it slide? I need y'all to hit the comments and let me know what you think. Would you be cool with someone remixing your art like this? Or is Method Man right to be pissed? Let's discuss this because this is a heavy topic. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates. Catch y'all in the next video.